Okay, guys, welcome to another Thursday Q&A. Uh, this one's one I get all the time, so it's not deal-related per se. It's more general. And the question came, do I have to be a salesperson to buy and sell real estate? Other times it comes in the form of, geez, I don't know if I can sell. That I get that a lot. And so here's what I want to say to you guys. Um, no, you're not selling. What, think about this. Why do people call a doctor? Why do people call an attorney? Why do people call a CPA, an auto body? I could go on and on, right? You could, you could list all the services over and over here. Why do they do that? They call because they're looking to solve a challenge or a problem. Now, I can't stress enough with the systems we've built that you have access to in the QLS version two, or if you're an associate, everything we do is built to help you get to the point of only speaking with people that want to speak with you, but it's not always that they have a problem. Notice I said, or a challenge they want to solve or a goal. So if someone owns a property outright, they're not hurting financially in any shape, form or fashion, but for tax reasons, estate planning reasons or other reasons, they want to do a deal on terms with you. We get them all the time. It's the biggest misperception out there. So no, short answer is, of course, you don't have to be a salesperson. You're out solving challenges. You're helping buyers and sellers get what they want, whatever that is. And we help you vet that out. Uh, our scripts and dialogue help you vet that out. You are, uh, I'll tell you what, off the top of my head, I just came up with this. You're, you're a professional question person. You're just going to ask questions with the right scripts in hand. And you're going to find out a large percentage of the cells that have challenges, um, they'll, they'll work with you. Or they just want to maximize their cash out. And you'll also know, if you don't already, that a large percentage of Americans can't qualify for a mortgage at a bank. And do first-time buyers, newlyweds, you know, do, do people want to always buy real estate? Yes. And a whole bunch more would buy it if we're able to show them the pathway. So you're not selling, you're not pitching, you're not convincing. And whenever you feel, or if ever you feel like you're in that mode, you're in the wrong mode. Stop, hit the pause button, get in touch with us, revisit your QLS version two on the Smart Real Estate Coach Academy or if you're an associate, get your butt on a role play call with us so we can help you work your way through that. I hope that helps, guys. Short answer to the question, do I have to be a salesperson or I don't think I'm a salesperson is perfect. You don't have to be. Make it a great week. Hey, I really appreciate you watching these Q&A videos. I hope you find them helpful. I want to help you even further, though. I want you to personally go ahead and leave your most burning one, two, or three questions on the comment section below. Go ahead and do that now. I'll go ahead and answer your questions live on a video. I promise you. We'll get that done for you in the next few months. Could be days, but watch for it, and we'll address your questions. And by the way, how would you like it if you could ask those live questions every single week to one of our team members privately? How would you like to, in addition to that, ask our entire group of associates those live questions every single week? You can do that. Just become an associate by applying on the link below. We'll see if it's a fit for you. We'll see if your area is still open and perhaps we can be working one-on-one -on -one together. That would be pretty cool. Uh, be sure to subscribe below as well so you don't miss any of these Q&A videos. It doesn't take many, guys. Remember the old saying, small hinges open big doors. One idea, one deal this year can be an absolute game changer for you if you apply below now and we'll have that live conversation. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe below. You're going to want to not, not miss any of these videos. Go ahead and subscribe so you don't do that. And I look forward to seeing you on future videos if you want to keep on these Q&As.